Hey, what can I do for you? Well, it's kind of embarrassing. Okay. Last night, it was kind of quiet on duty, and I was playing around with the transporter. Hmm, you know that's not a toy, right? Anyway, I got beamed around a bit last night, and when I woke up this morning, I went in the sonic shower, I noticed a little bit of a lump on my breast. Can you take a look at it? You know, I should really report you, but it's okay. Get up here on the bed, and I'll go get my tricorder, and we'll take a look. Okay, crewman, let's see what's going on. Computing. Data. Oh, this dang thing. I need some help. Please state the nature of the medical emergency. Uh, oh, hey, it's, uh, it's you again. Okay. This is getting pretty old, isn't it? Didn't you get that tricorder fixed yet? It's not my fault. They were out of parts on Regal 17. I'm hoping to get more gear at Deep Space Nine. Right. Uh, so, what's the problem? Um, a lump in the breast from a transporter mishap. Uh, you know the transporter's not a toy, right? I know. Okay. Clearly, what we need here is some good, old-fashioned, 20th century medicine. Not again. Yep, it's time for physical examination of the breast. No way. There's no freaking way I'm doing that. Dude, it is going to be totally fine. I'll talk you through the whole thing. Mobile hollow emitter activated. So before starting the exam, explain- Hey, you didn't mention you were an android. Is that a problem for you? Are you anti-synthetic? Hey, I'm a hologram. I mean, I get it. I just didn't realize. Like, your communications interface is pretty great, but your petrol unit could use an upgrade. I'm just saying. Well, excuse me for being a little self-conscious. I didn't think anyone would be examining me today. I do have to admit, my pectoral unit is a bit basic. I am saving up for a newer one. Okay, let's get started. Explain the examination to the patient before you start it. With the patient in the supine position, start by inspecting the breast. Expose one breast at a time to protect the patient's dignity. I'm going to inspect different areas of the breast, looking at the skin and the shape of the breast, and also looking at the state of the nipple. Look for any dimpling changes or retraction here. Next, we're going to start by generally palpating the breast using the fingertips. We're going to look at all areas of the breast, and then we'll go deeper, pressing the breast tissue onto the muscle underneath, spending about two or three minutes on each breast. Don't forget to examine the axillary tail of the breast that's up here. Some people work in quadrants, and then finish off with the nipple at the end. Other people use the lawnmower approach palpating the breast in strips, working up and down. Important to use all the fingers at the same time and it's important to always remember to palpate the nipple as well. When we're done with this breast, we'll cover it up and expose the other one, repeating the same steps on the other side. We'll ask the patient to sit up and repeat the examination of the breast. Again, we're going to examine one breast at a time and this time we want to see are there any changes to the shape of the breast now that gravity is involved. We'll palpate again in quadrants or using the lawnmower technique. And we're going more deeply here, feeling the breast tissue against the muscle underneath. Don't forget to check the nipple and the axillary tail. And once you've done this breast, repeat on the other breast. We'll have the patient lift their arm up as well. And doing this, the breast tissue is tensed over the muscle that's underneath. Inspect and palpate the breast in this position as well. We'll now check the axilla and the supraclavicular fossa on each side. Doing the axilla first, we'll look at the anterior lymph nodes, the posterior lymph nodes, medial lymph nodes, and the lateral lymph nodes. With the patient's arm down, we can feel into the upper or central part of the axilla to, to palpate for lymph nodes here. Don't forget the lymph nodes in the supraclavicular fossa as well. Using the tips of your fingers, palpate above the clavicle for lymph nodes on the left side and also on the right. 
at the end of the examination, cover the patient up again and let them get dressed. And that, doctor, is how we do a physical examination of the breast. I am so glad I live in the 24th century. I don't know how they used to do this on a daily basis. Whatever, doctor. You're fine, crewman. You can get back to work. And remember, the transporter is not a toy. So, what have we learned, Starfleet trainees? Don't waste emergency medical hologram resources and always make sure your tricorder is working. Perform regular tricorder maintenance. You can perform a physical examination of the breast if you have to. Remember the steps. Explain to the crew member what you're going to do before you do it. Preserve crew member dignity. Examine one breast at a time. Do the examination lying flat and then sitting up. Remember to get the crew member to tense their pectoral muscles by using their arm. Inspect for changes in shape. Palpate for masses, going slowly, using your fingertips and don't miss any quadrants. Don't forget the axillary tail. And remember to examine the axilla and the supraclavicular fossa on each side. That concludes this Starfleet training video.